was showing property to one of my investors in a not so great part of town. He was very interested in viewing it because it was priced so low. The photos showed that it was pretty run down, but nothing too crazy where it couldn't be fixed up. I definitely had my hesitations about showing this property, so I insisted that we show it during the day. My buyer agreed to a 2 p.m. showtime, so I set it up with a listing agent. When we pulled up to the property, I was immediately put off by it. Now don't get me wrong, I'm used to seeing rundown properties, especially since I work with a lot of investors that do fixer-uppers, but not like this. This wasn't just chip paint and bad curb appeal. There were actual bullet holes in the siding of the house. My buyer and I noticed them at the same time and just glared over at each other. Are you sure you want to go inside? I said. Are you kidding me? That's negotiating power. Take $30,000 off the offer price. Typical investor response. I laughed it off as I approached the front door. I put in the code for the lockbox, but realized I didn't need it since the door wasn't latched and opened as I was messing with the lockbox. I opened the door the rest of the way while yelling, Hello? Just to make sure nobody was in there. We winced at the smell of piss that immediately filled our noses upon entering the house. Good lord, my buyer said. Knock another 10k off. After entering the living room, I noticed the back door was open. Hello? I said again, trying to make my voice sound stern and strong. Nobody answered back. I tried to close the door, but it wouldn't latch. Just leave it, my buyer said while holding his hand up to his nose in a failed attempt to block the stench. He looked left at the kitchen, then at me. Have you seen enough yet? I asked. He shook his head, no, and said, the kitchen isn't too bad. Let's look at the bathroom. I was more than ready to leave that house. So I agreed, thinking that it was the last room and we'd be out of there. I reached for the doorknob to open the bathroom door when I heard a small, subtle thump, which caused me to pull my hand back from the doorknob. I looked over at my buyer. Did you hear that? Hear what? He asked. Now, I'm no small guy, and I can hold my own, but I'm also not a let's-go-investigate-that-noise type of person. Wish I could say the same for my buyer. He's an average build, but has some muscle to him, something my overweight figure is lacking. He reached over and pushed the bathroom door, and we were immediately met with an option to either fight or be killed. A homeless-looking man with dirty clothes, hair, and face ran at us welding a machete. A fucking machete. My buyer jumped back, leaving the crazed man with a clear path to me. He screamed as he charged towards us, machete raised high, ready to use it. I stumbled backwards a few feet before he made contact with me and we both hit the ground. I got in one good blow to his face before my buyer wrestled him off of me, causing him to drop the machete on the ground next to me. I hurried to my feet with my hand stretched out in front of me, providing what little distance I could between me and him. My buyer landed one good punch and the man fell to the ground holding his eye in pain. We took that opportunity to get the fuck out of there. Needless to say, my buyer didn't put in an offer. Stupidly, we didn't call the cops, but I did call the listing agent to inform her of the situation, and she called to make the police report. I'm grateful we didn't see that house at night. It may have had a different outcome in the darkness. Mm -hmm.